Okay, well the next one here is actually the braided armor cable. And I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this um, just because I want to show you how the, the braiding on this thing actually actually works and maybe some of the best ways to do it. Um, something that you're going to just have to realize with, with the armored cable in general and, and braided cable and everything is that the wiring itself is just going to take more time. Um, there are ways to make it easier, but it's just it just takes more time and I'll I'll kind of show you here with the the end of this and and again what I found to be best was this this pipe cutter and this is where this will come in and um, you can actually lay it right back at the um, you know however distance back you're going to be um, needing for your applications but I'll just show you how you actually twist this knob and it turns down the um, this cutting wheel here into the wire and so you you turn it on down into a depth that um, it takes a little bit of guesswork but it's not hard to figure out um, and then you begin to spin it and you can feel immediately as it starts cutting through that jacket and you can hear it um, winding around on the braiding underneath so very simple it cuts right through and then you just kind of break it over each way like this well, didn't get a clean cut on this side. Um, seeing as I guess goes to the point that I'm, I'm making here where um, it's just a little bit more work. It takes a little bit more finesse to get through all this stuff. So, uh, let's see if I can do this. There we go. Now, the other tough part, of course, is pulling it down. Um, and this one isn't going to work that nice. But you can just get some wire cutters and actually cut the length of this thing. And actually speaking of that, there's a really cool tool I I've, I've saw poking around online um, that is a jacket ripper. It will cut it both um, you know, around the diameter of it and then as you get towards the middle, the blade itself will actually twist and you can rip the length of the cable and you peel it open you know, almost like a, a banana and, and the, um, the outside jacketing slides right off which looked really cool and if it's something you're going to be doing a lot of it might be something you want to look into. Uh, I unfortunately don't have a pair of those but I did get a couple other uh, really handy tools from Cobalt that I'm going to have to show everybody here. So. Okay, well, now that I've got to the end of this thing, uh, I'm going to sh hopefully show you a trick here that I picked up um, that was looked actually uh, quite helpful when it comes to actually braided cable like this. As you can see, it's a very nice tight braid and certainly something that's going to be very protective against um, puncture or, or noise or anything that you might pick up. But here's a trick I learned, and we'll hopefully see that this thing works out pretty good. But if you have something now, this is just a little flat head, but if you have a knife even, you could probably use that. But what you want to do is just slightly kind of tease open a spot here in the cable braid. And if you work this back and forth a little bit, you'll actually begin to open up a hole in the cable not in the cable rather I guess I should say the braid um, and with enough finesse the hope here is that this will open up wide enough to um, be able to pull this inner jacket out of it was definitely done with a smaller uh, gauge cable than in, in the example or, or video that I saw so we'll see how it works on this thing but it seems to be kind of working pretty well and it's not damaging the inside jacketing or anything so far in fact you probably could even get a couple nips here and might even open it up even further so Like I said, this was just something I was going to try based on a video I saw, but it looks like this bigger cable is going to...
cause a bit more headache than it might be worth here. Because um, you can see kind of what's happened. It's, it is exposed, but this larger cable isn't going to be quite as flexible to, to pull right out. So um, anyway, you know, I don't, I don't think that probably is the best technique, but hey, it's a good um, learning experience for all of us here on this, watching this video at the, at the moment. So anyway, it's all good. I'll go ahead and clip on around with my wire cutters and this braiding oh, one more piece should you know, slide right off so there we go to review once more with you guys here I appreciate you spending the time watching the video um, and I just wanted to reiterate kind of what exactly we we looked at here in this video and that was these um, these uh, quick strippers that you know I can't say enough about these things these things are, are absolutely fabulous and I would certainly recommend them to anybody looking to uh, to to do any sort of uh, wire installations with any sort of frequency it's a really really great tool um, and you know I can't say enough about these either um, cobalt really had uh, a good thought here using these pipe cutters on the armored cable it's certainly the best way to get through it trying to use wire clippers or any sort of you know sharp blade to do it really just isn't going to get it done um, certainly one of the best ways to do it uh, is, is right here and then the big surprise was was certainly this um, silicon tape that cobalt sent over I mean, it was really really interesting stuff uh, like I said you know long-term application is it good will it last uh, you know I don't know I can I can't say maybe somebody out there has um, some some better uh, use cases or something where they've used it and have seen how it lasts throughout the years and can, can uh, elaborate further but certainly sitting here in the office uh, messing with this stuff it turned out to be surprisingly good even in wet and dirty conditions so that was cool and then of course these uh, the wires that Northwire sent over again big thanks to both these companies um, Northwire was really nice to get this stuff all together and send it over quick so I could do this so um, anyway great great wires that they got aluminum interlocking armor braided armor and then of course um, plastic jacketed example which is, is these are all plastic jacketed but um, this empty set here was um, real nice for them to send so Hopefully this was beneficial to all you guys, and thanks for watching.